Coach Bongani, thank you very much for your time. Uh, your first game here at the Orlando Paris Cup uh, ended in nil nil. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I think the boys played well. They tried their best. I think we, we missed a lot of opportunities. We dominated the game, you know. Uh, if you are using young boys that are 16, 17 into a tournament of under 21, this is what you expect, you understand, for them to, to miss those chances. But I still believe we still have a good uh, chance of qualifying. We still have two more games to play. And then we need to make sure that we collect maximum points. Uh, coach, going into this game, uh, obviously in this type of tournament, you do not know the opponent. Uh, so you have to just do what you do best and what you are good at. Uh, in terms of this game, what was your uh, tactical approach in terms of the system you played and how you plan to execute it? No, we wanted to press them high, we didn't want to give them space. Because we knew that if we give them space, they'll be comfortable on the ball and they will crack us, you know. And then I think the boys, they did well, we applied the pressure very well where we needed to. And we created a lot of chances with the high press, you understand. We told them that we need to press them high so that we can win the ball in their, open, in their half so that we can be able to score. And I think we tried our best, they tried, it's just that we did not put the ball at the back of the net. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that some of the boys that you brought here, uh, uh, like 17 year olds and so on in an under 21 tournament where you expect 20 year olds, 19 year olds who physically will be stronger and will have progressed in terms of their development. What was the reason behind be bringing in younger boys? I, I believe this is an opportunity. Uh, parents have given uh, us an opportunity to, to, to bring these boys here, you understand. So if you are coming to your parents' cup, you must have a vision. Uh, I believe that the boy who's 17 if he uh, have an opportunity to play, you understand. So I think uh, that was the purpose to come and bring the young players, get the experience and get the exposure, you understand, because uh, that's where the future is, you understand. If you playing someone who's 17, we believe that boy will still have four years in the tournament, you understand. So uh, what we are doing that we are building from now. Uh, you, 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 you've drawn your first game, which means your two remaining games definitely must win to stand a chance. Uh, of progressing to the next round. How is the approach now to ensure that you get maximum points in the next two games? Yeah, you see, the most important thing, we don't want to put pressure on these boys. You understand? We know to them, to play for, in a, to, to come and compete in Pirates Cup, it's a pressure by its own. But our job now as coaches, these boys, you know, they're 16, 17. We need to motivate them and tell them the most important thing that we're here for is to play. And then the result will come after because we don't want to overload them with pressure because you put pressure on them, they won't be able to deliver. Uh, coach, in your preparations for this tournament, uh, in one day, you'll have to play three games. Uh, do you have a big enough squad to do that? And how do you plan to ensure that in between these breaks, you are able to refresh these players so that they come back for the next game fresh, fit and ready to go? Yeah, I think uh, we had the program of the tournament, I think it was two months back. We knew that a day we were going to play three games. So we had a nice preparation. I think at home, back in Pulugwane, we were playing three games a day, trying trying so that when we get here, the players, the condition must be up to standard, you understand? So we were playing three, three games a day, trying to get the... Uh, we had visitors from Malamule, like Giani, they were in Pulugwane. So we needed those friendly games from Giani and Malamule for physicality, because our so that our boys, when they come here, they are ready. Uh, coach, uh, as the coach of the school of uh, Limpopo School of Excellence, can you give us maybe briefly summarize how is the state of football development in Limpopo? Yeah, I think, for an example, I think there's too much gap. If you compare Limpopo and Jovek, Jovek, these people they love football. Like for an example, the Orlando Paris they're having their own tournament. They're inviting all teams from all South Africa. Understand? So I wish some of the team from Limpopo, they can be able to copy from what Pirates is doing. And I still believe in this tournament, Pirates will be able to see a lot of players. So if teams from Limpopo, they can be able to copy from what Pirates is doing, I still believe that even that side will be able to produce a lot of players. If you can check for now, for us to produce players, you need to come to Joburg because they need to come and play with the best so that we can be able to see if they are ready for the future, you understand? Then even if uh, in Limpopo, if those teams that are in PSL, they can be able to do the same, I think it will be better for us. Uh, last one, Coach, as the School of Excellence, can you name uh, maybe some of the players that uh, you have produced that are perhaps now maybe in the NFT or in the PSL? 
Yeah, at uh, one is Tian Mabunde is there, and we've got Albert, who's in uh, Pirates MDC team. Uh, he joined them last year, he's coming from us. And we have some players in the MDC, like Marumo Gallant. We've got, I think we've got eight players in Marumo Gallant, two players at Orlando Pirates. So what we are trying to do, in NFG we've got two players. We've got Lebo Mlangen, who's playing in Chakuma. And then we've got Given Machawa, who's the, who's the goalkeeper in Chakuma. So yeah, I, I think we're doing our best. Coach, uh, thank you very much for your time. Please keep on doing what you do. Keep on uh, working with these youngsters and producing talent for South Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.